In order to build fully responsive designs within VEV, we are going to use a mix of adaptive and responsive web design principles. In this lesson, we're going to cover a few things. We're going to go through project layouts, breakpoints, and how to use a safe zone inside of the design editor. We're going to cover fixed and relative sizing for sections and elements. And lastly, we're going to go over the origin tool and when to use it. By understanding and building with these principles and tools in mind, it will ensure that our content will look great across any breakpoint on any screen. When you first start a project in VEV, you can select a preset layout like desktop first, which by default will define responsive breakpoints for desktop, tablet, and mobile for our canvas. If we go this route, the only thing we will need to focus on is building inside of our canvas with the proper sizing and correct origin depending on our design. And of course, making sure to remain within the safe zone to ensure that elements are not cut off at certain breakpoints. You can always access your project layout in the design editor by going to the top bar and clicking the drop down here, then going to manage project layouts. Now that we've chosen a project layout, we can get started. When you first enter into the design editor, you'll notice these vertical lines on both sides. This is called the safe zone. Now this is a unique feature inside of VEV and helps to ensure our builds are consistent across any breakpoint. When designing, we need to make sure to keep elements inside of the safe zone as much as possible, or else we run the risk of having elements be cut off as the user adjusts their browser width. Now let's cover fixed and relative sizing. Each of these methods will depend on our particular preference and what requirements we have for our design. For fixed sizing, it's all about using pixels to define our sections and elements size and position. But for relative sizing, we will be using percentages for mainly things like sections to ensure that we can take up the full viewport. Here we have a completed design on desktop. All the elements here are defined in pixels, but as you can see, it still needs work on tablet and mobile. To do this, we can access our tablet breakpoint either by going to the dropdown in the top bar here or using the shortcut 2 to access that specific breakpoint. Now that we're in the tablet view, we can refine our elements to be responsive on this specific breakpoint. To make the process easier, I can select my text elements and use the stretch horizontal tool to make it full width. You'll notice that this sets it to be 100%, but you can also change this to be a pixel value by going to the drop down here and selecting pixels. For the height of the text elements, I'm gonna set it as 110 pixels. And now I'll go through and do this to each element. Once I'm done, I can then tidy up and reposition the elements to where I'd like them. Now, if we go back to desktop by using our shortcut one, you can see that the design here hasn't changed at all. That's exactly what we want, a slightly different layout for tablet and mobile compared to desktop. It's really important to note that the same rule applies for nearly everything, even textiles. I'm gonna change the alignment of the text to be left aligned and change all the text size to be 70 instead of 90. Now we are using a different font here, so to match, I'm just gonna change this back to 90. Lastly, I can resize the image and also reposition it. And now we have a fully responsive tablet design, and you'll notice our desktop design has not changed. So moving on to relative sizing in VEV. We will most likely be using relative sizing or percentages in the design editor when we are looking to take a certain portion or even the entire viewport. Here we've created a hero section and now want to make it full screen and immersive. We can do this by changing the height of the section to be 100% as well as the minimum height to 100%. But this is where things get tricky. As we add elements within this section, we need to understand the position is now relative to the height of the viewport. So while elements look fine in the editor, the published content in a browser window looks off as we increase the height. We can fix this by using the origin tool. Now the origin tool will allow us to control the position of an element or frame within a section set to be relative height. Now you can see the origin of an element two ways, either by the blue line here or by the origin tool itself in the right side style panel. By default, the origin is set to be the top left corner of the parent container, but we can change to be anywhere. 
Since we want this frame to remain in the center of the section, we can add the center quadrant and also edit the Y value to be zero, so it's in the center at all times. We also have some text with a border here. We will change this to be center, but change the Y value to be 300 pixels, so it's always 300 pixels below the text above. Now we can publish the changes and check it out in our browser. As we resize the window, the text stays in the same place due to the origin. So in summary, responsive design inside of VEV really depends on what we're looking to build and also how we like to build. We'll need to know what project layout to start with and how to build with the safe zone in mind. We'll need to understand the difference between using fixed sizing values like pixels and relative sizing values like percentages and how it affects elements and sections on our page. Lastly, we'll need to know when to use the origin tool, especially for sections set to be relative height. With all this in mind, we can create seamless, responsive experiences for our audiences to enjoy.